Welcome to another episode of Agri Marketing Mastery. I'm Anthony Smith, Marketing Manager at Red Stag Media, and here is your Marketing Digest for September 2023. Probably the biggest announcement to be made in the last month is that Meta is considering offering a paid subscription version of Facebook and Instagram that would provide paying users with an ad-free experience. This has come in response to more stringent policies in the EU about how consumer data is collected and used. The move would create a win-win situation for Meta as they still receive revenue from subscription payments on the ad-free platforms and also will continue to rake in the ad revenue from the non-paying users. So Meta wins either way, but what could that mean for advertisers? Well, it means that you won't be able to position ads in front of potential customers that are using the paid subscription. Considering that Facebook is currently one of the best channels for marketing to farmers, this could have a major impact on your paid media strategy. There are a few things to consider. One, what percentage of your audience is primarily on Facebook? Two, how likely are they to pay for a subscription? Remember, it's not just you that we're seeing ads from, just like the rest of us. They're targeted with everything from tea bags to toothpaste. Three, do you have an emerging audience on other social media platforms? Many of Gen Z and beyond aren't active on Facebook, so how soon do you expect your main target generation to change? And number four, how engaging is your organic content? If you have strong organic content, you could still see considerable reach and engagement with your content without the need for ads. Sticking with Meta for the moment, Instagram are reportedly testing the functionality for users to upload 10 minute reels to the platform. The current maximum is three minutes, so the update will give you the opportunity to upload more in-depth video content in the most commonly used section of Instagram. The feature change is an attempt by Meta to keep up with TikTok, who already give the functionality to upload 10 minute videos. Traditionally, you might have uploaded short snippet of video onto Instagram, encouraging people to go to, to the website, but now, being able to upload longer format video direct to Instagram skips an entire stage of the customer journey, arming them with enough information to click through and make a purchase or submit an inquiry. One caveat is that Instagram Reels are currently a lot shorter and it may be difficult to keep your customers engaged for a whole 10 minutes. When they roll out the new functionality, my advice would be to A-B test the longer and shorter format videos to see which is most successful. Whilst Meta is exploring ways to decrease the ways they collect and use the data of their users, X is taking a different approach and is testing the functionality for brands and creators to gather the contact email addresses of their subscribers. This is an update to the platform that Elon Musk has promised ever since his takeover, and it looks like it may be now be coming true. The new function would give users the option to share their email with the page they subscribe to, which gives permission to the creator or brand to contact them off platform. This offers a new opportunity for capturing data, providing that you have a good brand reputation, you should get a healthy opt-in rate. One tip for encouraging users to opt-in could be to offer exclusive subscriber only content and offers, which can be sent out directly to their email address. Google is exploring yet another update to its search engine results pages in the form of a mentioned in dropdown under the company website results. The drop-down will feature snippets and links through to the key articles and websites that have mentioned your company. This potentially adds a whole new dimension to digital PR and how it links with your SEO strategy. Where previously getting featured on other websites was a good way of building links and raising your domain authority, these mentions could be used to build authority directly on the results pages as users decide whether or not to click on your website and explore further. This highlights the importance of building good quality backlinks to your site from reputable sources. Opting for a cheap, quick fix SEO strategy might be a good way of building links fast. However, not only will Google catch you out in the long run, but your pot quality mentions will be there for all to see. We finish off September's Marketing Digest with a look at an ad campaign which has caught our attention recently. As temperatures in the UK began, began to soar over the last week or so, McDonald's seized on the opportunity to entice us with a subtle promotion for its cool milkshakes. As you can see, the billboard features nothing more than a partial snippet of their golden arches and a single drip of melted strawberry milkshake. And yet, you would be hard pushed to find anyone who didn't know exactly what they were looking at. So here's what we like. One, subtlety. 
We only see a hint of the branding and yet we know exactly what we're looking at. This highlights the importance of creating a strong and simple brand that will be instantly recognisable to your customers. Two, reactiveness. McDonald's didn't mess around. Yes, we could argue that this campaign could have been developed and planned to launch early in the year, but was pushed back to, to, due to a dismal summer. However, being able to produce creative and secure positioning in such a short time as the weather turned shows the importance of being agile as a brand to react to changing situations. This campaign couldn't be planned six months in advance because there would be nothing worse than promoting milkshakes on a grey and wet September morning. And that's the wrap on the Marketing Digest for September. If you'd like to discuss any of the topics we've covered in more detail, you can reach me via email at anthony at redstagmedia.co.uk. And as always, we look forward to seeing you on the next episode.